don't do this to your cat's litter box. Well, hey there, pet parent. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, my name is Jessica. I'm the furry family coach. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are returning, please comment down below and let all of our new visitors know exactly why you love coming back to this channel. And I invite you, if you haven't already, look down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, click it and turn it gray, then click the bell, select all notifications. YouTube will actually be able to notify you every time I post a new video or go live. So let's get right into this video about things you should not be doing with your cat's litter box. And I'm actually gonna give you two really, really big ones and then a third. Third that I think many of you probably know, but if you're watching this video, maybe you don't. So litter boxes are like, oh my goodness, I feel like most people that I talk to or that I hear from on social media or even people in my own family, litter boxes are, are like the elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about and if they do talk about it, it's always negative. And I get it, like cleaning litter boxes is not the best part about having a cat. It's just not. But it is a very, very important part of having a cat in your home. And so let's just really break this down because Cleaning your cat's litter box is one of the most important things you can be doing every single day. In fact, multiple times a day because our cats are very, very elusive. They are still, they are genetically designed, like their biology, their physiology, they know, they, they still have very, very strong instincts as prey to many larger animals that they are very, very good at hiding sickness and injury, illness. So if your cat is hurt, if your cat is sick, they are very good at hiding it. Now, I'm not saying like there may be, you know, a case here or there where your cat will let you know. That's pretty darn rare. Most cats are incredibly good at hiding illness, disease, injury because they're just, I mean, that's just how they're built. That's how they're designed because while they are predators for smaller animals like squirrels and rabbits and mice, they're also prey for larger animals like wolves, even some larger birds. So let's tackle the first thing that you should absolutely never, ever, ever do. And these ads have lately been like stalking me and it is getting on my nerves actually a little bit. So I, it actually prompted me to do this video. The very first thing I want to tell you that you should never, ever, 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 ever in a million years do is switch to a litter robot or some sort of automatic cleaning system because one of the best things you can do to stay on top of your cat's health is to clean your cat's litter box because then you can notice when something is different. Maybe your cat is peeing way more than they used to or maybe your cat isn't peeing both of those are causes for concern and definitely require a trip to the veterinarian. Or maybe your cat has diarrhea, or maybe your cat's poop is really, really super hard and they're straining while they're in the litter box. Again, both of these can be cause for you to need to go to the vet. And if you are not manually cleaning your litter box, you're not gonna notice these things. So that is definitely the number one thing you should never, ever, 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 ever do <laughs> with your cat's litter box. Don't skimp out here. Like you need to be cleaning your cat's litter box manually and actually paying attention to what your cat is doing in the litter box. Changes are something that you need to bring up to your vet and often can notify you if your cat has some sort of underlying illness. Um, again, if they start peeing a lot more than they used to pee or if they have stopped peeing, both of those things, in, in fact, if they stop peeing, if they haven't peed all day long, that's super serious. You need to go to the vet like ASAP. But I'm not a veterinarian, let me just throw that in there. But these are causes for concern. So definitely, number one, do not ever, 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 ever in a million years, do not switch to a litter robot. I don't know if that's a name brand. I'm not calling out any name brands. I'm just saying a robot litter box, any sort of robot litter box. If that's a name brand, I apologize because I had no intention of calling out any name brands. Um, I actually don't know. I, I, I literally, I mean, I could Google it right now, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I do apologize if that is any, I'm referring to any sort of automatic litter system, period. End of story. 
The second thing we should not be doing, and I will say this was tempting for me many, 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 many years ago. I was like very intrigued by it. I never did it, um, but it was intriguing. So I can understand the allure. Some people have just, and there are even systems out there on how to train your cat to use a human toilet. That is another thing that we should not be doing. And in fact, Jackson Galaxy has even weighed in on this. Um, who He is probably one of the most popular cat behaviorists. Um, probably the most popular cat behaviorist and he has weighed in on this as well saying do not ever under any circumstances train or attempt to train your cat to use a human toilet. It is very unnatural for a cat even the positioning like the physical positioning of a cat on a, a on a toilet is very very unnatural. It's just another way that humans are trying to you know turn cats into something that they're not I, I think that's very dangerous and it can be very problematic for our cats. Our, ultimately, our cats are the ones that are going to be harmed by all of these conveniences that we're trying to impose in our lives. Um, one thing in particular that could potentially happen is, you know, if your cat slips and gets wet, that can be very traumatic, which can in turn be very problematic and cause, you know, even litter box avoidance or any sort of, you, avoidance of where they should be going potty right so like if you're trying to train your cat to use a toilet and they have a litter box and a toilet they could actually take that traumatic experience and, and just go to a whole nother room altogether and start soiling in places they should not be soiling because they're traumatized and cats are going to oftentimes relate um you know a place or a thing or an object with pain, discomfort, terror in that instance, and just move all together. And even if you do actually successfully toilet train your cat, it's still very unnatural for your cat and can cause a lot of anxiety, which can in turn, again, lead to litter box avoidance, even or toilet avoidance, right, in this case, because it's very unnatural, like physiologically for our cats. So you know, long term, the short term, you may be like, yay, long term, you may see a lot of problems. So I would say those are my top two things to absolutely avoid with litter boxes. Do not go the automatic route and don't try to toilet train your cat. These are two potentially very detrimental routes to take. Um, and the third thing that I said I was going to throw in this video as well is clean your cat's litter box guys like i cannot tell you how many times i have seen pictures or been in somebody's house with a litter box and oh my goodness it's like when was the last time you cleaned your cat's litter box i am like religious about cleaning my cat's litter box if i go and i walk by a litter box and there is something in it and it's been soiled it's been used i'm cleaning it right then and there it's not like i clean my cat's litter box at 10 a.m and 10 p.m right like that's just not even that, that doesn't make sense to me. If I walk by it, I clean it, right? Five, four, three, two, one, get it done. If, you know, I, of course, if I leave the house for a couple of hours, I'm not cleaning my litter box while I'm gone from the house, of course, but you know, first thing in the morning, I get up and I let my dog out to pee. I give her a little snack. I go with my cats and I feed them breakfast and I clean their litter boxes. That is my morning routine and, and I clean up like, cleaning is my morning routine but th this is what I do and from that point on until I go to bed if I walk by a litter box and there's something in it I clean it out and yeah I just I don't know like I don't know what the deal is guys like if you walk by your litter box and there's something in it why wouldn't you clean it I don't understand but let me tell you I, I have seen some really terrible litter boxes and it is one of my biggest pet peeves and I just don't understand what the problem is. Like if you have a cat, then that's what you signed up for, right? I don't know, maybe this maybe this video is just going to like upset some people. I don't know, but it's the truth. It's just fact is fact. And um, clean your litter boxes, guys. Clean your litter boxes. All right, guys, so I do hope that if you made it this far in the video, <laughs> thumbs up, right? Thumbs up for me, thumbs up for you for making it this far in the video. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope you take this advice to heart because honestly, while what I put out on YouTube is opinion backed up by fact, backed up by professionals, other professionals and other experts in the area, you know, it's really all because I love your pet. I've never met your pet, but I love your pet. 
and so I want to help you be the best pet parent that you can be and that is my goal my goal is not to shame anybody or to hurt anybody's feelings but to just help you improve and be the best pet parent that you can be so I do hope that I hope that you are taking some of this in and um, I hope that it helps you and I hope it helps your pet I hope it helps your cat specifically in this case right um, yeah so I hope you give this video a thumbs up and if you look down there that subscribe button if it's red go ahead and click it and turn it gray a bell will appear click the bell select all notifications also I hope you take the opportunity to join me on patreon check all the link check all of the links in the description but specifically the very first link is to my patreon you are going to get exclusive content and new content that you're not going to get anywhere else and it's going to really help boost your pet parenting skills because that's what I'm here for. So I do hope you take the opportunity to join me over on Patreon. It will help a lot. Support me, support this channel, support me bringing you more content. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for being here. I can't do it without you. Like if you're not watching my videos and there's no point in me putting them out. So keep watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.